Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at various data types in JavaScript. Now in my last video we looked at variables in JavaScript where we type var something or x equals something. And in here we either could type a number or like a string or something else. There's seven types of uh, data types that we could insert into a variable and we are going to be looking at all seven. Now the first one is a number. So we could say var x equals 5 and var y uh, equals 10. Just like what you saw in, when you were uh, learning math in school. It's like algebra. And this is called an integer. Oh, we haven't talked about uh, comments in JavaScript. Now, when we want to insert comments in JavaScript, we could either use the double forward slash to write a comment. This is a comment. But, and as long as uh, the text is within that line, so within this line, JavaScript will ignore it and count as a comment. However, if you want to want if you want to type in comments in multiple lines, what we could do instead is use the forward slash and then a star sign and then a star sign again and a forward slash and anything inside this this is a comment will be a comment so if I press enter a couple times this is also a comment because both texts are in between these two you could look at it as a start tag and end tag if you want to look at it as that maybe it's easier for you to remember it but basically anything within these two pair pair within these two are considered as a comment and will be ignored okay in this video i will be using the double forward slash to type in the name of that uh, data type after the example the next thing we are going to be looking at is var i don't know name equals john and this is a string now in my example here, we I used uh, double quotes as a name, but then we could say the surname equals Ford. And in this one, this is also a string. Because it doesn't matter whether you used uh, single quotes or double quotes when you are specifying that it's a string. Now, let me uh, the text equals uh, his name is uh, John Ford. Now I want to surround this John Ford with quotes like I did. Now as long as this as long as this uh, quote isn't the same as the quote surrounding the string itself like so it will be fine. So if we use uh, double quotes to surround the text we could use single quotes within that text and if we use a single quotes vice versa basically that's because if we say I want I use the double quotes instead now JavaScript only looks at this as a string and this will be something else and because it's not a number or anything else it will be counted as an error so when I use double quotes to say that this is a string, we must use single quotes inside. Now, let me quickly uh, use document.write to uh, output that and refresh. And there we go. And his name is John Ford and single quotes is actually uh, considered as text. Now, let me delete this and the third thing we are going to look at is called a boolean a boolean is basically uh whether it's true or false it's one or zero it's yes or no so say for example you have a question of is this uh color red and if it's red it will say yes and that's a boolean value of true so bar uh i don't know answer equals true uh, yep and you can see that unlike when I type in I don't know answer equals Ford or something Ford 
in my text editor is a black text because it's not considered as a string because it's not surrounded by single double quotes it's not considered as an integer or a number because or number because it's not a number obviously and that's it but however if I write true it will be a blue color meaning that JavaScript can recognize it as something special not just a text and in this case it's a boolean so I could also write false and that will be fine so true is a boolean we'll talk about boolean in uh, more details later on because that becomes really useful okay the next thing we are going to look at is uh, undefined and null now var uh, I don't know, uh, uh, just say uh, solution equals now and as you can see just like true and false uh, now is a special word that gets recognized without uh, the need of single double quotes because it doesn't uh, get counted as a string so this is a now. Uh, now uh, is an empty variable okay uh, it's really difficult to explain at the moment but basically it's a variable that doesn't have a value to it that's all you need to remember for now now the other weird one that we're going to talk about is var I don't know solution to the name of the variable doesn't really matter for the moment is undefined now as you can see like true false and now undefined is also a special character so that that uh, so it's recognized uh, as a special character and the color is blue so undefined now undefined is a very a value of a variable that has no value and it's specifically different to null and it's hard to explain why it's different to null at the moment because of our limited knowledge in JavaScript but as we progress on to on with our uh, JavaScript tutorial and started learning more about JavaScript we'll actually understand the difference between null and undefined and when to use those two because those two ha actually have a, spe spe a specific uh, places where they become useful now the last thing actually wait that one two Three, four, five. The sixth one we are going to talk about is called an array. Now, array is when uh, you want your variable to store not just one data. Now, <coughs> sorry. Currently, X is storing five. Name is storing John. Surname is storing for, uh, Ford. Answer is storing a boolean value of true, and so on. But all these variables are only storing one data. Now, what the array could do is store multiple uh, datas into one variable. So, I'll show you a quick uh, uh, example of this. Var, I don't know, colors uh, equals a new array and uh, colors zero equals I don't know red and colors one that's wrong colors one equals blue colors uh, three equals green and so on <coughs> now this colors variable has now turned into an array and inside this colors it's storing currently well that should be two uh, three types of values red blue and green okay and uh, whenever we want to uh, output one of our variables all we need to type I won't type everything but like for example if we want uh, blue to be outputted all we need to write is colors one and this will be blue so array is really a useful uh, way of storing multiple data into one variable but I won't go into details about this for now because this is another one or two videos that will be dedicated onto arrays and it takes about 10-20 minutes of time to understand the concept of arrays 
and how to use them. Now, the last thing we are going to be lo looking at is actually the last thing that we are going to be uh, learning about in details, and this is called an object. The object looks like an array, but basically uh, we custom define the it's really difficult to say uh objects or well, i'll show you this first say the human equals and we write uh curly brackets give it some space and we write the semicolon at the end and inside this like an array we specify say we have a human what's his first name oops first name and we give it a first name not this uh first name with a colon of, I don't know, who did we use? John in our top example. And then we separate it with a comma and last name could be Ford and age could be 23. Okay. Now this uh, human variable is now an object and inside that we have a first name of John a last name of Ford and an age of 23. Now the difference between this and the array is that they get separated by commas, uh, you have the semicolon at the end, these are all the obvious examples, but the array and objects are completely different thing and object is basically a bit more advanced than a JavaScript. So at this moment all you need to know that there's this thing called var, uh, I don't know, something and uh, let's say uh, a equals array and this is an array and var b equals an object and we have an object data type so that's it so there's an integer or we could call it a number there's a string there's a boolean there's a null there's an undefined there's an array and there's an object that's the seven data type uh, different data types in javascript so there we go, that's the end of our video. Uh, in my next video, what was I going to talk about in my next video? Uh, I am going to be talking about operators in JavaScript. That's basically uh, numbers, so how to do maths in JavaScript calculations. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.